people learn flying at their own pace. And that's the beauty of this airport, as opposed to a rush program or some other program that whips people through. Here, people can do it at the best pace for them. We'd like to suggest people fly twice a week because that's in that way, they make continuous forward progress. They don't have to relearn what they learned you know, two weeks ago or whatever. But you know, people's lives are complicated. Some, some people can only do it once a week. Some people can only do it once every two weeks. That works. It just takes longer total time. Uh, people will always reach plateaus, learning plateaus, where they, they get frustrated because they don't seem to themselves that they're making forward progress. And my advice to them is just keep plugging along. Because what happens is, I mean, it happens to everybody. And it can be on landings, it can be on uh, certain types of maneuvers, it can be on cross-country flights. Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. Sooner or later, you're gonna reach a plateau, you're gonna get frustrated. If you quit then, you'll never know the answer. Could I become a good pilot? But if you just keep going and talk with your instructor. Instructors are used to this. They see it all the time. And they can suggest, you know, well, try this, try that. Let's take a week off, go do something else, play golf instead, uh, play with your puppy at home. Uh, let's go to a different airport. Let's just fly around and have fun for a session. They can suggest things to get you over that block, whatever that is. And then often people make rapid progress after one of those uh, holdups or uh, plateaus. But again, it takes a lot of persistence to become a pilot. That's one of the personal qualities you have to have. If, you know, if, it's, if you're easily discouraged, this is not for you. You know, do something easy. Uh, I mean, there's lots of expensive things that are easy, right? This is an expensive thing that's hard for good reason. Uh, you want to know and your instructor will wants to know when he or she signs you off that you have the capability to fly that airplane alone uh, in the usual uh, conditions that we encounter. That's what uh, that's what we're all gearing. You know, that's what we're all working toward when they get signed. People get signed off for their private pilot license.